Leadership Initiative. Jim Grant, a longtime friend of Sticks, coached baseball with him for many years, has served on our financial committee, and has been involved with all the initiatives. Larry Hurd, on the camera here, is an, was an LHS student and a neighbor of Sticks. Larry did the website that you've seen and the video and has served on our communications committee. Nick Mitchell, the initiator of the Remembering David Stickney Committee, has worked on the communications committee and the Memorial Bench Initiative, and it's due to him that this whole thing got moving. Nick's over here. <laughs> David Skelly, a Leaside High School student and a neighbor of Sticks, has been our treasurer and led the Memorial Bench Initiative. Very well, but he was very pleasant. He also taught me uh, uh, home maintenance, which was an interesting subject. And we didn't exactly have a bunch of future electricians in the class. And he was very kind, again, and he would come and inspect our work. I remember we were doing electrical work one day, and he would look at it, and he would just kind of smile and go, oh, that, that's not bad. You know, you might lose maybe a part of the house. <laughs> No, but that's not bad. You could work on that one. That one over there, that would take out three houses out down the street. So completely redo that. <coughs> anyway, he is he's very missed. I miss him personally. The last time I saw him, I think, was at the uh, tribute for Howie Bernie a couple years ago. And bumping into him at the time was just like, like, I hadn't seen him in about 15 years, and it was just like, you know, two days had gone by. At this point in time, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce someone who's obviously very familiar to all of you, his son, Eric. Okay, as you guys know, um, I'm Eric Stickney. I'm here representing the family today, and I think first and foremost, the family, the most important thing we want to get across is really our gratitude for the committee. So. Uh, my sister, who's on a bus on the way here, she might be showing up right behind me. Um, and my mom and I and, and our cousins and our, uh, his sister, Caroline. Um, we're in a pretty difficult situation to try and put something like this together. So to have the community really rally and do this means a whole lot to us. So, um, we were pretty hands off on this whole project. Uh, to the mic, uh, his long, uh, Dave's longtime friend, Jim Wilson. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, we were talking before about uh, some difficulties as you age and getting shorter, and I think this is the reason they offered me two choices in terms of steps. <laughs> Our counselor would recognize the tree stump. Uh, the other plastic step here, I think, is probably something that will at least get me up to about 5'8". So thank you again for being here. Thank you, Kevin. When asked to speak today, I thought that it would be appropriate to give an historical perspective on how one David Stickney evolved into Mr. Leeside. I mean, very shortly, within 12 hours, I started getting emails and calls. Um, you know, what can we do for sticks? And uh, all these ideas that came flowing in, and of course, one was the bench, and then I heard about the, um, the scholarship, and a committee was formed. And I know uh, we're here for the street renaming, and that is really uh, a testimonial to Ann Brown. Somehow she figured out no one lived on the street, and it didn't really have any significance, like historical Eastside significance. So um, thank you, Ann, for uh, all your diligence. And so the committee was formed. And my experience is a lot of committees get formed. People go for a couple of meetings, and then nothing really happens. It kind of peters off. And here we are today, basically a year later, and there's a bench, there's a scholarship, and now there's a street renaming. And that's really a testimonial, not only to the, to the committee, but to the community who loved Dave Stickney. 